of course your mama know you best. But there's someone else out there that knows you, and that's your bestie. Your bestie knows those secrets. So if that bestie knows, it's like, go on out there and pick me somebody because I have not been doing a great job at it. Hmm. All right, that's fine. Now you heard her, but would you trust your best friend to pick your next boo? That's the concept behind the new dating series, Asking for a Friend. And here to tell us about it is actress and the original It Girl, Miss Lisa Ray. Hello. Oh, I am welcome, the original welcome. It Girl. The original I like yes. that. Yes. yes. Thank yes. you very much. Okay, before we do anything, we've been talking about her nails I or see. ensemble. <laughs> because, need. listen. Come on. Woo. Nails are a girl's best friend right Why now. Why not? Why not? Especially when you can change them and pop them on in the morning and pop them off at night. In the afternoon. <laughs> Shh. That was a that. secret. I, I guess it's not a secret. Oh. It's hard being a girl. You know, I, he I, wouldn't know I, anything I, about I, it. I, I get he, it. I know. He, no, he, he empathizes. He's yes, a good I empathizer do. With, do. With, with the women. It's not an easy task. No. So tell us about this show. I I, I love this concept because I, I feel like I have chosen wrong and my girlfriends are always like this with their wine glasses. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. After I made the trip. Could have told you, girl. I think it's a, a nice, exciting, refreshing, light way of mm -hmm. looking at how to date. Because we know our mom and our dad knows us best, but your bestie could too. So it's really single besties just trying to see if they can pick the love of your life for you. And seeing if you're going to go on these dates and see if you can go on after that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And start dating. You know, I think the world is looking for love. The world definitely mm -hmm. needs love. You right. know what I mean? I know I need a little more love. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, and so I, I think it's something that, you know, people will find humorous and mm -hmm. refreshing and not have to scroll and not have to right. use right. social media. You know what I mean? It's just right. a different approach. So it's a blind date, correct? And then do yes. they go, and they also go on a double date then? They go on a double date. They go on two dates in the same day. And then oh. they get to choose which one comes back for a nightcap. Oh. Oh, hello. How is that? Look at yeah. that. So like one's a breakfast coffee, mm -hmm. one's like a lunch, mm -hmm. and then the and winner then of that goes, goes to, to dinner. an expensive <laughs> dinner. <laughs> oh, you I get see. three free meals, yeah. you know? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Who would you trust, yeah. by the way, uh, as a friend to pick out your next boo? I'm just going to think I'm going to leave it up to the show. You uh -huh. know, I might have to just put myself really? on the chopping block there, you know, because my friends have tried. I have done online dating, to tell you mm -hmm. the truth, and it hasn't worked. And I've, you know, tried to do it other ways, the traditional way, and that didn't work. Right. So I'm just open, you know, yeah. to just finding love however way I can. What are your requirements, no, though? <laughs> no, it does. What are your requirements? Um, smart, God-fearing, mm -hmm. uh, generous. Oh, that takes 90% of men right out of it. What are, you, what are you kidding? Come on, don't be so strict. Well, but here's the thing. If you're successful, you're smart in your own right. Right, right. You know Absolutely. what I mean? I, I'm attracted to power and knowledge, you know? Mm -hmm. Teach me something. Let's teach each other something. Let's grow, you know? And, and there's so many people that's, uh, you know, surviving in a survival mode for mm -hmm. themselves that they're not really sharing their lives with anyone. Either it's too boring mm -hmm. or it's too much for them to feel like they can take on someone else because they're dealing with their self and things right. that's in their life, well, you know? I think you've, you've got I'm to... looking for someone to share my life with. Right. right. Problems, the good, the bad, the ups and downs, yeah. all the way around. Give us a little uh, a teaser, if you will. What was, so far, one of your favorite moments that really, you're like, whoa, I didn't see that coming out of this couple? Um, there was one uh, couple, I think her name was Essence, and she said, I am into men. But I am also into women. But if I find the right man, you might be able to persuade me. But for right now, I'm wow. going to do both. And it was like, okay, okay girl, we'll way to tell the truth right. and be yeah. honest. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. you know, you got to be honest up front and forward. You know. But, and, and it's so so funny because at the top of this segment, we were talking about like, oh, your parents will say, oh, you can meet my mother. You'll meet someone at church. <laughs> uh, You'll meet someone at the grocery store. Right. No, no, I won't. And now we have apps. But what do you think is the secret to a successful? love life because you're sure in who you are you are successful and you're clear with who you would like your partner yeah. to be but if i knew i probably You'd have would have someone in my life you know <laughs> they wouldn't be exes <laughs> you right, know what right, i mean right. but so hopefully the show will help us know that and here's the thing you never know where you're going to meet them Right. You mm -hmm. can't actually meet someone just walking down the street. That's right. right. Especially here in New York, I've been putting on my tennis shoes, mm -hmm. walking down each street, <laughs> yeah. you know, from every angle, you know, yeah. looking for them. Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> right. <laughs> now, think about friends, though. I was thinking about this concept because would a friend necessarily choose for you or choose their type? Mm -hmm. Would that get in That's the way? Question. That's the question yeah. because here's the thing. Some of the besties are in love with each other. 
Mm -hmm. and the other one didn't know. Mm -hmm. And it's not until you're upfront and honest about how you feel or that ex will pick themselves mm -hmm. reincarnated right. in someone else, right, right. someone else because exactly. they didn't work. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. But I think that ultimately we're always just looking for what it is that we can't have. You know right. what I mean? Right. We're never really satisfied. Right. You know, so and true. so knowing right. yourself is half the battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But really just encouraging someone to not be afraid to be open minded and come into some something new. Mm -hmm. And to that point, what are some other key dating tips that you would give people, especially in New York? Because I, it's like any big city. a gazillion yeah. people. How do you find the right person for you? And I think for me, I have began to just go on like happy hours, you know, because at least happy hours they're leaving work and they have a job. <laughs> <laughs> first good sign, check you know the first mean? box. <laughs> right, whether well, you're a lawyer or a doctor, where are you coming That's from, right. you know what I mean? Right. And I think, you know, that first conversation, just being open and honest because you don't want to waste any time. And look, at my age, I am not no, a young cookie. No. I am not wanting to waste any more time. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to get in there and be open and yeah. just be able to, you know, find that love of my life and not waste any more time. Yeah. Now, you're a busy lady. In addition to the show, you've got, uh, was it Queens and Cocktails? Uh, Cocktails of Queens, Queens yes. my talk show. Yeah, on Fox With three Fox. other queens besides you. Tell us it about is, that. It's with Selena Johnson, Claudia Jordan, and Vivica A. Fox. And we talk about, there we are right there. And we talk about oh boy. topics that's <laughs> trending, you know, and we are very opinionated about mm. it and we actually share our own experiences with it as well um, we're, they're calling us aunties and so what we do okay. is we share our our experiences of our us being in business mm -hmm. and being able to you know be hold down being an actress being a mother being a producer director mm -hmm. and still being able to do it eloquently and I think, fun. Yeah. I, I can see. A, I can see a lot of truth going down in that one. Oh, it is. <laughs> I, I, I'm always in the headline. Lisa Ray said, "It's like Lisa Ray said, what now?" Now what do I say? <laughs> so what? Do you have any room on your plate for anything else? Love. Okay. All right. I am looking for love. I want to share that with someone. Okay. I want a companion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not sure if I want to really, you know, get married again. I'm not sure of that. I just want to find someone that I can have a great, stimulating conversation mm -hmm. with. You know, some fun with, someone to travel with. Well, there's a lot of, of real estate between 42nd and 2nd and whatever your next stop is, so I suggest you walk. I've got to get out of these boots, then. I need some gin. No, leave the boots on, because it's nice. Let everybody <laughs> take it in. Yeah, don't let everybody take it all in. Absolutely. Asking for a friend premieres tomorrow at 8, 7 Central on TV One. Lisa Ray, thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much. You're so welcome. Thank you. Next time I come, I'm going to be booed up. That's right. I hope so. <laughs> we look forward to that and hearing the story.